what's going on wolfpack fam it's your boy kid we back at it again with some more mickey flanagan guys you seem to be loving him as i'm having a great time checking him out he's such a gem guys we got a special one the rise in teenage pregnancy guys so let's get it let's do this and as always hope you guys are doing well get some friends around for the evening we're dipping bread in oil we're having a lovely time <laughs> Issues are coming up. The issue of teenage pregnancies come up. Now, I've had nearly a whole bottle of Zinfandel. <laughs> I'm going for seven and a half, eight quid. I'm, buy I'm buying the cheap shit anymore. Eight quid I'm paying now. <laughs> eight quid? He's in my off, he thinks he's cracked it. <laughs> eight quid, baby. <laughs> so, I've been a bit buoyed up with booze. So I said to these very nice people, teenage pregnancies through the roof, I said, through the roof, and I'll tell you why. During the last 30 years in the UK, fingering has disappeared. <laughs> yeah. You know it, people. No fingers? Come on, two hands, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, and maybe you finger. people came out for an easy ride tonight. Oh, shit. So it ain't gonna happen here. <laughs> I'm bringing it to you from the street. Yo. You're not going to hear this stuff on Question Time. <laughs> <laughs> or the one show. Oh, no, it's people like me. Got to spread the word. Spread you it, know, baby. as well as I do, the demise of fingering has led to chaos in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> what? The teenager will not wait. They will not defer gratification. We did. It took ages to get to that point. You didn't get to that point for a hey, You had to tip the girl up for about a year. <laughs> you had to tip her up in the flats. <laughs> Over the park, babysitting. <laughs> you did your time. Yeah, you had to work for it. Got to know her a bit. Oh, you her up over the jumper. <laughs> over the jumper. <laughs> then you got under the jumper. <laughs> And one night she'd look at you and go, go on. <laughs> You're yes. holding a tick. Yeah. You don't know what to do with a tick. <laughs> You're holding one. <laughs> You're never going to be the same again. <laughs> so walk home in a dice. <laughs> I've held a tick. <laughs> it, man. Your mum would know you. You've held a tick, haven't you? <laughs> I've seen that face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom in. So you titted her up. You Tittin washed a couple up. of cars, got a bit of dough together. And you treated her to wimpy and chips. <laughs> She's a nice girl. She's thought, what a lovely fellow. He's titted me up for a year. <laughs> He's bought me a rum bubba. <laughs> I'm going to let him finger me later. <laughs> oh, Damn. Oh, shit. They know she's gonna get fingered. <laughs> They're good people. The old man's a bit excited. What's going on? He's took her for a whimpy. <laughs> Calm down, George. We brought her up right. <laughs> she's only gonna get fingered, you know it. <laughs> so. Damn, this is such a good, such a good sketch. You do a year's work. It was a very fluid time. People moved about a lot then. It was a layer of men above. Getting oh, the inspiration. Oh, shit. So check this out. Fantastic sketch right there. I mean, so we now know why the rise of teenage pregnancy um, has exploded. No one is uh, fingering anymore. There's no more foreplay action going on and stuff like that. I mean, I think the man... Is he, is he right, guys? That's the first question. Is he right? I mean, like... That is a, it's a big question right there. Is, is the man freaking right? Um, I mean, it's a definitely a different breed right now, different, different age uh, that we live in. It's, it's crazy. When I was growing up, it's a, uh, it was a process. It was a process. You had to do a lot of things, a lot of wine and done and yada, yada, bullshit, a lot of stuff. And, and even to this day, it's still, you know, it's still, Part, uh, part the case with some of these kids these days. I'm telling you, I've heard these stories, you know, especially when we worked in the, uh, you know, the YMCA, these youth groups uh, mentoring and stuff. The, the stories at the age that a lot of these kids were, 
doing things uh, out of this world. When we were growing up and we used to go visit in the Poconos, there was a lot of girls out there. And a lot of these girls in those neighborhoods uh, were bored out of their mind. Not a lot of shit to do. Your internet's not really that uh, freaking great. So most of the time, be honest with you guys, the most thing that they would do is, 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 is sex. Lots, lots, lots of sex and stuff like that. They skipped all the foreplay, all this extra shit. And unfortunately, when we were growing up, we knew a lot of girls, maybe 14, 15, growing up, who were pregnant at freaking such young ages and stuff. They just skipped all the stuff, you know, just, uh, you know, eventually skipped high school. And I was freaking crazy, but brilliant sketch, gem. This guy's freaking awesome. I like, uh, he really has a nice swag to the way he tells things. Uh, it's, easy, it's easy for me. Like, it, it just, he's such a nice uh, fellow um, when he's doing his sketches. It's like, and I feel like I'm just in the room with him. This is what I like about him. Um, I mean, is Mickey really um, one of your favorites, guys? Because he's really um, starting to become a gem for me. I like him. Probably right now, I'm going to say just as much as I like my boy Lee Evans right now. Might be two of my favorites. Um, his sketches are just really good. I don't know. Maybe it's just as we start to listen and um, hear more, we start picking up things more than we normally uh, probably wouldn't have in our first go about. So even from when we first started from our journey, uh, the amount of stuff you start learning, I think it, it's it's uh, it's a huge difference from my first videos and stuff. Um when we first started on our journey. So I'm happy to be learning a lot of the things based on comments that you guys do on a daily, guys. So I want to know, do we agree with what Mickey Flanagan said, that there's not enough fingering going on? Can we change that um, stigma right now? Do we need more fingering to be going on, guys? So get some more foreplay going on. I couldn't say the freaking word. Get some more foreplay in your life, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fantastic sketch. Mickey doesn't disappoint right now. Um, I think it's a three, three, for, three for me or four for four. Losing my numbers right now. But yeah, he's so good, man, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts below. Keep them suggestions coming. Like, comment, subscribe. All those things help out. We are cruising, creeping up into that 2K mark. That's going to be huge, guys. And I can't do that without... Any of you guys, guys, you guys are freaking awesome. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace and love. Peace.